Hello Discordians, Danny here, and uh, we're back with another episode of Remothered, Tormented Fathers. Uh, let's hope I don't die, shall we? Okay, so that I needed- oh, don't want to do that. That I needed to be sneaky to get past him, cause a distracted- oh, what is this? Am I gonna regret this? It's a small goods lift that communicates with downstairs. Oh, so I could put stuff in it if I wanted to, I guess. But I guess not right now. I'm not going to be using that right now. I do have a knife, which is great. So if he does get me, I can kill him. Or stab him to get enough time to run away. Also, pressing B will dodge. Hello? Guess it's fine. Can't really see. But guess it's fine. don't really know where I'm doing or going, but you know who does. Okay, so now I'm trying to escape. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Uh, love that she's still got. Try to remove the object stuck in the drain pipe. Like, she knows trying to escape is just a pipe dream. <laughs> okay. Well... Getting downstairs is what I want. And I will go to the stairs. Oh, a chair. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a knife. Oh. I don't hear him anymore. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, shit, 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 shit. It's goodbye. Yeah. Greet my land for me. Oh, he's gonna see me. Oh, he's gonna see me. Oh, shit, 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 shit. That was so close. I wanted to run so badly. Why is she crying? Same. Wait, is he just gonna stay in this hallway? That's unfortunate. I don't know how to deal with this. Throw something on the ground and then hurry up and get in the closet? What if he sees me get in the closet? Like, he's so fucking close. And he's so naked. Ugh. I do have a knife. I could just run away. Run down the stairs. Try to dodge him. That's valid. Huh. Hmm. Don't hear him. So well, that was loud. Okay, so this is maybe what I'll do. Can I run? Will he hear me? Oh, this place is bad for me. There's nothing here for me. Who's there? Oh no, there's nowhere to hide. There is absolutely nowhere to hide. He's gonna see me. There's nowhere to hide. Uh-oh. Bad news bears. Good thing I saved. He's coming. I just want to sleep. Go to bed then. Is this desk gonna be enough? Okay. Maybe I can. Uh oh. Version items are used to slow down or distract an enemy. You can take up to a maximum of three. Okay, so I should have been grabbing these all along. That's my bad. Once you have picked up a diversion item, you can equip it from the inventory or via quick selection. There are different types of diversions. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to throw it. That's mine now. God, I can't fucking see. Uh-oh. He here. 
Is this a diversion item? This. This is mine now. Hello? Sir? Hello? Oh, he sounds like he's behind me, so I think I'm okay. I want this. Can't get it. It's okay. I don't need it. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Because I say so. Is he still here, maybe? Nope. He is not. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go downstairs. Gonna go downstairs and check the fact that the fucking door is locked for sure because I have other tasks. Don't, don't act like... <gasps> oh my god, this is here. <laughs> Do it on your fucking thing! All you're doing all the things bad! You're doing all the things fucking bad! No, no, no. Hey. I have a gift for you. Hey. Could, uh, hold on one sec, actually. Hold on. There was panic there. Hold on one, like, one second here. You weren't inviting! Left trigger. Come on. Why is that not working? It's not left trigger. Okay, it's okay. I oh. Oh. oh, I'm dead. Goodbye. This naked ass man is gonna kill me. No, he's not! Even though I fucked up so hard. Okay. It's fine. Hey, could you not do that, though? That's fine. This is fine. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, there is nothing. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, everything's fine. It's all good here. Everything's all good here. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, I'm not gonna die. I panicked and did things so wrong. It said left trigger to aim. Right trigger to throw! I was trying to throw a distraction item right the fuck at him! But it didn't work. Also, what is this little enclave? Fucked. What do? Also, where am? No time like the present. Okay, one second here. Uh oh, I'm hurt because I got stabbed a million times. <laughs> What is that? Upgrades. You can. An upgrade allows you to improve two types damage, stun the enemy. Okay. I could use it to my advantage. Uh oh. He sure is right behind me, huh? He's just gonna keep coming up in this fucking room. That would be annoying. Wait, is he not coming up here? Did I just hear him? He needs to fuck off so I can get some shit done. Well, he sounds muffled now. No, he sounds like he's coming up. And I'm so hurt. One more and I'm gonna die. Why can't I aim? Why is my shit not good enough? I just want to sleep. I just want you to fuck off. This can't be real. Okay, I guess I'm ready to get killed by him. What the fuck ever. Oh. Drop this shit. Okay. Oh, that's the ticket. Can you? Can I have it? Press A to upgrade your. Sure aren't doing that. Definitely 
coming, I think. I can't fucking tell. Shh, you're fine. I gotta get downstairs. I think it's to my left. Immediately. Stop crying. Don't like that. Where is your muffled ass voice coming from? Oh, you sound really far away now. Okay. Shh. There it is. Okay, hopefully going downstairs goes better than last time, because that fucking sucked ass. Is there a knife or something I can take? I'm gonna use my nut. <gasps> ah, fucking- you fucking asshole. I'm gonna fucking die because I don't have a defense item. Why is he right where I need to be? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big yikes. Oh. If only. It's fucking downstairs where the fuck I need to be. Okay, hold on in one sec. Noisy little. Get in there. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is my house! You cannot do this! In my face. I'll keep calm. I just want to Fine sleep. here. Yeah, and I just want to get downstairs, but you fucking stand there every single fucking time. Whoa. Take some shit. What the damn pill? Who could say? Squeaky. Gonna try to go the fuck downstairs. And if this bitch stops me again, well, what the fuck am I gonna do about it, I guess? My best. Fucking run, I guess. What's that naked asshole doing? Fucking squatting? What the fuck are you doing, bitch? Oh god, what a nasty view. Butt cheek spread. <laughs> Bent over. Looking for bullshit. Yeah, how long you gonna stand there? Am I supposed to sneak past you? Because I ain't doing that. I'd rather do literally anything else besides that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's the bitch? Where is the bitch? Was a lens flare, it wasn't him. Everything's fine. Is the bitch here? Sir? Sir? Okay, try this for the millionth fucking time. He's always standing at the bottom of these fucking stairs, and I always fucking die. Sounds behind me, but he never is. Okay, here we go. Go to 
this locked ass door because it's fucking locked because why wouldn't it be? Okay, yeah, it's fucking locked. Feels good. Okay. Oh. There that bitch was. There that bitch was. What do I do? Where do I go? What does one do with oneself? Their enemy is naked and over there. Okay. This is what I do. Chance. Oh, he's. Who was it? It's fucking right here. Fuck this shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I can save. Yeah, this is a great time to save. Love that when he's just like right the fuck behind me and like gonna kill me. But no, no, no. It's it's fine. No, I'll just look. You saw nothing. If you kill me, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? Like I am invincible. I just fucking saved. I'll fight. Plus, I have a diversion item. I'm ready to fight. Also, can I go in these doors? No, I can't. Can I just hide in the darkness? I'm sure I'm fine. I just, like I said, I just saved. I'm fucking invincible. Everything's fine. Everything's so fucking good right now. Look how safe I am. Ugh, I'm so fucking are you doing some overtime? Yep, I'm doing overtime. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm very nervous. Should I get under here? To be safe. I can't take anymore. I mean, I, I heard he was muffled, so I think you were probably okay. And I just saved, so I'm feeling pretty confident. But, uh...
Uh, I hope he's cool with me just sitting here reading this. Hope he can't get me while I'm reading this. I'm gonna say that he can't. <laughs> Suspected of kidnapping and arson, renowned professor commits suicide. Unable to withstand the charges, Albert Ellis, I'm gonna say, Wyman hangs himself. Uh-oh. Acquitted for lack of evidence, the community fulminated against him. Their reasons were more than sufficient, however. Cover up revenge. November 14th, 1971. One month after the p disappearance of the 13-year-old Celeste, pictured on the right, adoptive daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felton, the dead body of Professor Wyman, picture above, has been found today in his house. Uh-oh. Oh, I d oh oh I'm starting to think maybe someone murdered them both, and I think that someone is naked with an apron and a scythe. <laughs> okay, um, Wyman allegedly hanged himself. Yeah, allegedly, like big allegedly. He was suspected in the disappearance of young Celeste, even though there are no real pr proofs. Proofs. There are no real proof. Hold on, let me fix that. Even though there isn't any real proof that should indicate that the disappearance was in fact a kidnapping. Celeste is fucking dead and he fucking killed her. He was also accused of the arson at the Cloister Cristo Morente. I don't know if that's how, I, I feel like that's not how you pronounce that, I'm very sorry. Happened six days ago, in which all the 12 nuns living there, pictured above, lost their lives, Ashman's daughter included. Somebody's on a murder spree, and again, it's a naked man in an apron with a sight. Wyman intimidated several times his former business partners, the Feltons, and the ex-employees at the headquarters, the Ashmans, who have accused him of using the company and spreading a dangerous parasitosis in order to experiment unapproved medicines. Albeit Wyman, before his death, pleaded not guilty for the other charges. He never declared himself uninvolved in the contamination at Rosso Gallo. As a matter of fact, Wyman stated, the proliferation of these moths and their living system may be the missing piece in modern medicine. There's moths all the fuck over here, so I'm guessing... I don't know, that didn't work out so hot. I mean, they're all over that guy's dead wife, and I don't think they're bringing her back. Allegedly, Wyman also said to act on behalf of Richard Felton, whom have been assuming the prototype number one of phenoxyl for years before its ban to cure his disease as he benefited from it during mesmeration sessions. Even though Felton contracted the disease in a whole different context, the nuns who underwent tests before the fire reported similar symptoms in addition to a severe rise of insulin levels. Allergy to cortisone that could lead to sudden filamentary keratesis. Keratesis. <laughs> Photosensitivity and neuroleptic damage, possibly caused by the abuse of prototype number two of phenoxyl. Oh shit. A further side effect that would join the already abundant list of contradictions of prototype number one, cerebral cortex damages, hallucinations, amnesia, and memory alteration. Meanwhile, the first investigations in c confirmed the malicious nature of the fire ignited by pouring inflammable liquid in water pipes, the same used to infect Rosso Gallo's fields, as well as the cloister, the plantations, and a whole wing of the Ashman's Palace have been reported to be destroyed by the flames. So, Phenoxyl turned, turned him crazy, you know? You know he's naked, he's afraid, some bad drugs got to him. And, uh, he's off his rocker and wanting to kill us now. Boy, he needs some help. Anything on the other side? Huh, nothing spooky. Anyways. <gasps> oh my fucking god! Oh, hey, look, something. I mean, that's loud. Oh, it was a puzzle piece. Oh god, he's gonna come. God, he's gonna come. Where is he gonna come from, though? Where does he come from? Where does he go? Or does it come from Cotton Eye Joe, you know? Is he not gonna come? That was loud as fuck. Hello? He's not- He hears me walking, but he didn't hear a chandelier break so fucking loud! You say so? Let's see, can I open this door? Save. We can save and be safe. Everything's 
gonna be okay now. Everything is gonna be just fine. Everything's good. We're gonna be so safe. We got a piece of the puzzle. Everything's gonna be hunky dory. Oh yeah, give me that good shit. Give me that good shit. Yeah! So fucking safe. Hell yes. Okay. Things we still need to do. Find an alternative way out. Explore the mansion. Investigate on the disappearance of Celeste. No, I think I won't. I think I'll just leave. Thank you. Try to move the object stuck in the drain pipe. We are not plumbers. We are not here to get that good flow of water from the tub to the drain. So I don't think that's my problem. I think I went out. Find whatever you need to activate the stairs controller in the basement. Find and go through the lost film of the hypnosis session of Dr. Felton. I'm sure it's gonna be some weird creepy shit. Find the missing pendulum clock key. Because once we get the pendulum clock key, then we can take the battery from it, put it in the film projector. Because uh, Gloria, who has to know that some shit is going down, she cannot be the nurse here and not know that uh, Mrs. Uh, Felton is a corpse sitting in her bed with malls all over her. She just can't know that. Anyways, she wrote a helpful note letting us know that uh, she took the battery from the film projector and put it in the back of the clock. So we at least know that's what we need to do there. I don't know what I just got. I di she didn't say what she picked up from the... Hold on. Let me check. Uh, metal cable to which an impressive chandelier was hung that broke... Well, obviously it wasn't that good of a metal cable. Metal cable to which an impressive chandelier was hung that broke off from the ceiling of the dining room. Despite numerous gashes, I think uh, it could still support the weight. Okay. I, I don't know what to use for that. So uh, I think we haven't found anything that needs that quite yet. And uh, I think we're gonna try looking for all that stuff in the next episode, cause this episode scarred me enough. Anyways, if you uh, like this uh, series, please let me know down in the comment section below, because I don't wanna scar myself for no reason. But if you're enjoying it, I will do so for you and for me, I, I, I like the spooks. It's been a very spooky game so far. I feel real tension and uh, uh, I hate being sneaky. I just want to get a weapon and stab whoever I can that's chasing me and trying to murder me. Especially if it's a naked old man in an, only an apron and a scythe. Anyways, we'll figure all that out on the next episode. So uh, let me know if you like it and uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Try not to get, uh, chased by a creepy, creepy old man who is butt-ass naked and chilling in only an apron with a scythe he uses to cleave your face in twain. That's my, uh, life advice for you today. So, uh, keep that in mind and 